Oh dear, it's been a terrible uh, day. <laughs> bad, really, really bad. Well, I was trying to do some Mac automation yesterday and it was working and then it wasn't working. It was working and then it wasn't working. What I wanted to do was, is I have a keyboard maestro action which works in BB Edit and it basically sort of goes through the steps of find and replace to turn a file, which is a text file, from basically a whole lot of gobbledygook into something which I can use for the chapters for my YouTube videos. The keyboard maestro one was working fine, no problems at all with it. And I thought, well, I wonder if I can do that in shortcuts. And after a lot of playing and fiddling and uh, just testing and getting things right, I actually got it working. I was delighted. And then later I found it wasn't working and I couldn't work out why. And it was driving me nuts. <laughs> driving me nuts. Eventually sort of kind of worked it out and uh, it came down to Keysmith. Um, Keysmith was working sometimes and then sometimes it wasn't working. The actual shortcut that I made was working. So what I did with Keyboard Maestro was I ran a Keyboard Maestro typed in string which you type in CLUP which is short for cleanup and it sort of run that um, macro for me. So what I've done now is instead of that, using that one I've got a different one I think I've just got it CCL or something CLL whatever the keyboard shortcut is the type string and what that does is it, instead of using the uh, keyboard maestro sort of uh, actions what I've done is I've told it to run a shortcut and it works great. So let's have a look and see how we did it. I've already got this task done in Keyboard Maestro and the way that this works is that I have text that comes into here. I'll show you how my process works right from the start. So starting off in the Finder I click on this one here and I use the keyboard shortcut of Command Command S and it does a whole thing for me where it opens up everything and saves a track and I get to this point here where it saves it out I have to click on save and the job's done. And then I can go into BB Edit. In fact, I have it set so that BB Edit will actually open up automatically for me. So now it's time for you to put a like or a comment onto the video because we've got to hack the YouTube algorithm, get these videos out in front of people. So I've got this here and what I need to do is I need to change that so that it's in a suitable format for putting into YouTube. And as it is now, it's just not going to work. But with this macro that I've got set up in Keyboard Maestro Editor, all I need to do is to go to somewhere in the file and type in CULP. OK, so it did it. I've also got it put on the clipboard, Command V, so it's ready for me to use when I go into the YouTube thing. And I can just paste it in and it's all ready to go. If I go into Keysmith, I've got it set up so that it will do this for me. So let's um, do command command and D. Now that was a lot quicker wasn't it? So let's actually sort of make this uh, chapters shortcut right from the start so you can see how to build it. I've already built it once but I'm going to do it from the start so you can see it again all right. So I'm going to click on plus and this one here is new shortcut one and we'll give it a shortcut name and I want to have it so that it's in the services menu and finder I want to have it in a few places that I can get to it easy and I want to have it in the share sheet as well. I could even put it up on the menu bar as well. So let's put it in all these different places. And then I'm going to have it set so that if I don't get any input from a file, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take to go and get from whatever's in the clipboard. First thing we need to do is to put in a replace. So let's go to replace and put it there. Look. And what I want it to replace is the first bit of text that's got to come out of it. And this here is... I'm going to get this from Raycast because I've got it in my clipboard already. So CLP to go into Raycast, clipboard history. And the one that I want is chapter backslash D backslash D and equals. And I don't want to replace with anything. So let's go for another replace text. I can't do this all in one go. It's got to be done in stages, OK? So this time here we're going to go for a line that starts with chapter. So I'm going to go to Raycast again. OK, so that's that one. And this time it's the same, I don't need to have it replace anything, so I can just leave this here. So let's do one more. Let's grab this, drag it and drop it in there. We're going to tell it to do some more replacing, and this time it's going to be, uh, and this is the one I want this time. 
Okay, so that's what I want there, but this time I've got to do some replacing with it. So I've got to put in as a space, dash, and then a space into the updated text. Drag this in here. And the text I want to put in here is uh, chapters, and then the colon. And then in the line underneath, this is where I'm going to put what's come out of this one here. So I'm going to tell it to insert a variable, and I'm going to select a variable. And the variable I want is this one here. Then what we're going to do to finish this off is to put it onto the clipboard. And we're going to go to uh, copy to clipboard. And that's all there is to it. That's the whole of the uh, shortcut, which is going to do the whole job for me and do it a lot quicker than Keyboard Maestro. See, if I go to the details for this here, I've set it up so that it's got a keyboard shortcut. And the keyboard shortcut is Control, Option, Command, and a semicolon. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Grids and Affinity Designer. Let's take that one. And I start off, this is the whole process from start to finish after I've um, made the video already. So I'm going to do uh, Command, Command and S. And this is used in Keysmith. And it's uh, basically sort of getting the thing ready for me. I should be able to get it to click on Save as well. But uh, for the moment, let's just click on Save. And that is going to pop up in BB Edit. And it came up magically, automatically, into BB Edit, but it came up in the other screen there. If I do it with Keysmith, then all I've got to do is do Command, Command, and D. And that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what happened there. And I'm going to try running the shortcut again. It was working just a moment ago. <laughs> it was working a treat. It was lovely. OK, so I did a bit of check in there to find out what's going on. I haven't changed this. I've left this more or less as it is. So let's go for it and see what we can come up with now. I'm going to do the Command, Command and D. And that just worked perfectly. And that was a lot faster than Keyboard Maestro. So that wasn't the end of my trials and tribulations with running this macro and the shortcut. So what I did was is I took Keysmith out of the equation. And basically I set it up so that the shortcut was going to run from within Keyboard Maestro. When I've got it running within Keyboard Maestro, it meant that I could use Raycast. So in Raycast, I go in there, I type KLM, and that opens up the macro and gets it started, and it's done really quickly. I could go directly into the shortcut and have it run from BB Edit, and I don't need to do it there, but it's just that it's nice to do it from within either Keyboard Maestro or from Raycast, and I've just got a couple of uh, keystrokes to make it work. So let's show you action now. So here is the document that I'm working with and I've got it set up so that I can do it with Raycast. So I do command and space to get into Raycast and then KLM and this will do list of macros. And with list of macros the one I'm looking for is run chapters and I've just got to press on enter and the job will be done and that was really pretty quick. So here I am looking in Keyboard Maestro and in Keyboard Maestro I've got my chapters uh, run chapters. This is the one that I set it up with in the end. So this is what I've got here. Look. So what it does is it activates BB Edit. It does uh, this one here, which is to select it all and then put it onto the clipboard. And then after that, it'll run the shortcut of chapters. So to get this started, I can type in CLL. So I don't have to go through Raycast. But if I can't remember what the, the uh, little typed in string is, I can go through Raycast. So let's do this with CLL. And that was nice and quick, wasn't it? Lovely. I like it. I like it when a plan comes together. So there's a bit of hair tearing out along the way, but I got there in the end because I'm good and geeky. So thanks for taking time to watch this video. I hope you've learned something from it. And it's good fun to do some good and geeky stuff with macros and shortcuts and making things happen automatically. I'm Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon.